Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Remember last week when I wrote a blog about people waiting for four days, four days at the Accident and Emergency Department of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital? Well, there was a young baby, two months old, and that baby was having difficulty and the parents were made to wait to see a doctor. Now, two months prior, that baby, when the parents went to the hospital for delivery of the baby, they were sent back home because the lady was only two centimeters dilated and they sent her back home. And when she was home, she actually had the baby and the baby was born with the cord wrapped around its neck. So it had difficulty breathing then, but the baby was alive and you know, two months into the baby being born, they were at the A&E again for help with the baby and its breathing. And because they were made to sit and wait, the baby actually expired right there in the hospital. The, the baby died. I heard that the parents were freaking out, freaking out on Saturday. That's what I'm hearing. Now it's up to you. It's up to you to check to see what has happened to that lady, what's happened to the baby, and how the people there at the hospital are going to explain that away. They're talking about only 30 hours wait. No, 30 hours is just one day and, and six hours. And even that is preposterous. They are, people are made to wait for four days and a little baby, two months old, having breathing difficulty for the parents to sit there and watch their baby die. Let's hear, let's hear from the hospital. Let's hear from the administrators there at the hospital how this was allowed to happen. Sherry Veronica.